Use wind power as an energy source. Alternative power sources are much prioritized these days because of environmental hazards caused by common energy sources in the world today. Wind power is something that is all natural and though it cannot rival the extreme power of a nuclear power plant, can still generate ample energy that can help augment your power system. Here are the ways where you can use wind power as an energy source. Wind Power Theory You cannot use wind power as an energy source if you do not first know how it works. Wind power operates under the principle that air is a fluid. As such, it possesses kinetic energy in its midst that can be used as an ample source of energy for your home or office. Turbines capture the energy from the wind as it turns and is often strong enough to cause movement. Turbines The very first step to harnessing the power of the wind is by getting the turbine. There are three parts to a good turbine, rotor blade, shaft, and generator. You can buy your own turbine or if you are strapped for cash and on the practical side, you can try Instructables Do-It-Yourself 100 Watt Wind Turbine. Rotor Blade The rotor blade of the turbine must be positioned in such a way that it opposes the motion of the wind in action. This way, it will get you the desired energy that you want to have transferred to your home. You should also maintain your rotor blade to keep it in top energy capturing condition. The rotor blades maximize the use of lift and drag to capture the most amount of wind energy. Choose the design that closely resembles the airfoil. The diameter of your rotor also affects the amount of power that will be generated. The larger your rotor blade, the greater the power. Shaft The shaft must be free from obstructions during the operation of capturing wind power. This is the passageway under which energy taken from the rotor blade transfers to the generator. It must spin when the rotor blade spins. Check for consistency by testing the spins of the shaft and the rotor blade. Generator the generator is the final stop of the wind power before it gets converted into usable electric energy for your home. The generator produces the electrical voltage based on principles of electromagnetic induction. Cable the cable must be properly connected to the generator so that the transmission of the energy will be smooth. Do not make the cables too long or else there will be massive loss of energy during the transmission of the converted energy from the generator. Collector if you are using more than one wind power turbine, set a point where all the cables from the turbines converge. This is the main box that will be linked to your electrical system at home. 
It is best if you know the power output of your home so that you can get the right dimensions for your wind power turbine. Also, if at all possible, provide ample space from the collector to your home so that there will be lessening of voltages. Wind power can get medium to high voltages and need to be handled with care.